This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and we're a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metals Summit, Beaver Creek, which is being held virtually this year. And joining me right now is Jeff Wilson. He is the president and CEO of Precipitate Gold. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you, PRG on the TSX Venture and PREIF on the OTCQB. Jeff, good to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing well, Robert. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you on. So let's start real quick with an overview and history of the company real quick, and then we'll get into some uh, more granular detail. Sure. So we're a junior exploration company. We're really focused at uh, sort of the discovery stage of of the sector, Uh, looking for new discoveries, new meaningful deposits for the mid-tier and the major companies that, you know, as we enter into this more bullish gold market, we we believe are going to be in high demand. Uh, We've been focused in the Dominican Republic, a country that is a little off the beaten path for a lot of the junior exploration space, but, uh, you know, hosts one of the largest mining operations in the world uh, in a joint venture between Barrick and Newmont called Pueblo Viejo. Uh, One of our assets is situated immediately adjacent to that monster uh, deposit. And we've got other uh, strategic pieces of land and a couple of other key areas in the DR as well. So uh, well positioned. We've taken time over the course of the last uh, eight years or so to get ourselves what we believe are some of the, the better land positions in that country. And uh, as I said, as we now enter into a more bullish gold market, uh, the, the goal here and the objective here is to advance a couple of key targets to a drill stage later this year. So what would you say makes the company and some of the assets that you have in the DR unique and different compared to some of your peers out there? Let's say that also may be working in that Caribbean, Latin American area. Well, first and foremost, I mean, we've got a lot of expertise and experience. Uh, Not only have we as a company been almost solely focused in the Dominican Republic since 2012. So, you know, all of our staff, uh, management and and, and members of our board are all very well accustomed to um, sort of the mining uh, sector and legislation in that country. Um, we've, we've got a, a director uh, by the name of Alistair Waddell, who was a former CEO of a company called GoldQuest that was one of the initial success stories in the DR back in, in the mid-2000s. So uh, it really comes down to a specific expertise to this jurisdiction. Uh, and having been there now for the better part of eight years through good markets and bad, um, you know, we've been able to, as I said earlier, really, you know, position ourselves with some of the key ground in, you know, emerging known mineralized districts where uh, a lot of this very prospective ground has uh, never really seen any systematic drilling or exploration in the past. So we think therein lies the opportunity. We're next to one of the biggest mining deposits in the world, uh, Barracks Pueblo Viejo a significant piece of ground there. And then next to a company called Gold Quest Mining that's got about a two and a half million ounce deposit uh, at their Romero project that is advancing to a feasibility stage at the present time. Again, in the same geology nestled right up against their claim boundary. So strategic land in the right geology in areas that just hasn't, have not seen the kind of systematic exploration that we believe they deserve. And what's your background? What were you doing prior to, to founding Precipitate? So I've been in the mining sector uh, since the mid 1990s, which sounds like forever ago when I say it out loud. Um, And so I've largely been focused on the on the marketing and the investor relations side earlier on in my career. I was lucky enough to work with several, you know, very astute groups that uh, were successful in bringing some deposits to a point where they were uh, attractive to mid-tier and major companies. And so I was a part of a couple of different uh, buyouts by mid-tier companies sort of in the uh, late 90s and then early 2000s. Um, helped form a couple of companies in the early 2000s that were then bought out in the mid-2000s. Um, and it was in 2012 that I joined on with Precipitate, uh, taking over as president and CEO. And really the, the opportunity there was this, this district, this, this land position next to GoldQuest in, in the Dominican Republic that at the time, you know, GoldQuest had gone from six cents to two bucks. It was sort of a bit of a market darling and the opportunity to get involved in, a, in an emerging district in an emerging jurisdiction uh, with a really good board and, and technical team. Um, you know, I was sort of uh, jumped in with both feet, got myself a significant uh, share position as an entree into uh, taking over the company and have been running the company ever since. And Jeff, from what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of this year going into 2021? Yeah, there are a couple of sort of key uh, prongs, if you will, to the potential catalysts and story going forward into the fall and and through the balance of this year and into next. First and foremost, uh, the the project that I mentioned earlier on that's adjacent to Barrick's Pueblo Viejo mine, um, we were advancing that to a drill stage early this year. 
uh, had all of our permits in place, had some, some, some key targets lined up, uh, and then entered into some dialogue with Barrick, which ended in Barrick um, agreeing to an earning agreement, whereby they're going to spend $10 million US over six years to bring that project to a pre-feasibility stage within six years in order to earn 70%. So that's an opportunity for us to have a deal with a major company, deep pockets, big land package next to one of their tier one assets. And that should generate some news catalysts out of Barrick in the coming uh, months and as we get into closer to year end. Um, primary focus there is their, um, their, their objective is to complete a minimum of 2,500 meters of drilling on our project between now and the end of the year. So we'll have some news catalysts out of that. Obviously, anything successful that comes from that, if it's going to be enough to, to, to maintain the interest of Barrick, we know we're going to be into something large, and our 30% interest on that will certainly be valuable. But we're not a project generator, so we're not simply happy to sort of hand over the keys to, to a mid-tier or a major uh, on an earn-in or a joint venture. Our, our objective is to leverage the company and, and create value for shareholders through discovery. So as, as that project sees work by Barrick, we've got two other key land packages that we will be focusing our human resources and, and budgets toward. One is a project called Ponton that's just 20 kilometers away from that Barrick operation that, that we discussed. We've uh, got a significant size geochemical uh, gold anomaly at surface. This is a target that's never been drilled and uh, we are in the process now of completing ground magnetics and that should be at a drill stage between now and the fall, maybe September, October. Uh, we own our own drill rigs. Uh, we picked those up out of receivership uh, earlier in the year and that was an ability for us to get access to full-time drills at a fraction of the cost. We bought about $800,000 worth of equipment for 80. And, uh, and so we can get drills uh, on the, onto these projects uh, uh, effectively and efficiently and, and at a lower uh, drill cost. Our other project in, in the other part of the country called Wanda Herrera, which is next to GoldQuest, that's a project that's kind of been dormant for the better part of about two and a half years. But some political changes in the DR have created uh, renewed interest in that, in that area. And it's very likely that we may be able to shift drills not only at Ponton in the coming two or three months, but also at Wanda Herrera between now and year end. So you've sort of got three projects all likely seeing drill programs between now and the end of the calendar year. Uh, a couple of which are very strategically located next to or adjacent to existing deposits and one that would be sort of a bona fide new discovery and testing a target that's never been drilled before. With that, Jeff, where can our audience go and find more information about Precipitate Gold? Yeah, so our website is www.precipitategold.com. Uh, updated corporate presentation pretty much every few weeks to a month. Uh, all the, the latest project details and news releases. And uh, of course, if anybody wants to get updates and announcements as we progress, there's an ability to click on to uh, add yourself to our mailing list. Sounds good. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe. Good luck. And uh, I look forward to our next update. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you, Jeff. Again, my name is Robert Kraft. I'm your host on SNN Network, and we're a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit, Beaver Creek, which is happening virtually this year. Jeff will be there. And um, thank you all for listening to our interview today.